This morning, my nasi lemak uh, at Adam Road, the price went up by one or two dollars, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I just come back to Singapore only. Uh, every food, your experience is on. All the hawker, sorry, I whisper. All the hawker center, uh, who are all went up by one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, one plate, you know. What yesterday, I like, wow, Singapore is here. I didn't realize it's that bad. Question from Christopher Tan is, how do you stay calm uh, in uh, not so calm times like this? Yeah, yeah from I, your experience. This guy Kong Lee, level 10. Okay. No, I think right now everybody is so afraid of inflation and suddenly everybody is talking about inflation, right? I mean, a couple of years ago, nobody is talking about inflation. I think the first thing we need to understand is that inflation is always present. We always have inflation. The problem right now is that the markets Markets are not happy that we suddenly see a rise of inflation in such a short period. That's what is causing the market to fall. And we have explained, you know, what is causing the inflation. This morning, my nasi lemak uh, at Adam Road, the price went up by one or two dollars, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I just come back to Singapore only. Uh, every food, your experience is on. All the hawker, sorry, I whispered. All the hawker centre, ah. Uh, Wow, all went up by one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, one plate, you know. What well, yesterday I was like, wow, Singapore city, I didn't realize it's that bad. Yeah. So yes, what are you gonna do? Very, very, very frightening, uh. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, so we talk about what caused the inflation, right? So it was QE, the printing of money that caused inflation, but QE is over, right? And then we say supply chain in uh, disruption in China that is causing the inflation. But these two shall pass. I mean, this supply chain disruption cannot be <clears throat> forever, right? I mean, China may change their policy. I mean, now they are going for zero COVID, but there's a possibility that they may change and things will go back to normal. I mean, you cannot fight the war forever. At some point in time, uh, at some point of uh, in time, I mean, the war has to stop. So this will pass. So let's stay <coughs> calm because whilst we know that, well, inflation is high now, as a result, the interest rate is being pushed up. One day, the inflation will be over, right? And when that over, yeah, when that is over, interest rate will come back down. The government cannot keep on increase interest rate forever. They are also very worried that you know if they overdo it, the whole recession. economy goes into the recession, mm. and then it's it's actually worse, right? So let's 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 remember this. I mean, whilst we are very afraid. This period is a temporary period. Remember, it will uh, pass. It will pass. Okay, don't frighten. It will pass. That's a very important thing. Uh. And very interestingly, I was reading uh, the podcast uh, for my company. It's called the Money Wisdom uh, Podcast. It can be found in Spotify. You know, I think Apple Podcasts and all that. And I uh, was reading from my book. And that particular article uh, that I read, or those few articles that I read, were articles that I wrote like 12 years ago in 2008. I don't know how many of you were investing in 2008. Me. I know Lou went through 2008. Yeah. My company went through 2008. Yeah. And if you go through 2008, for those of us who remember, it was very scary. In fact, I think the fear was a lot more in 2008. It's a chicken fee compared to 2008. Because three months, the market came down a lot, right? I think you invested 50%. in the S&P 500, uh, it went up and down. And by the time the year ended, the S&P was down like about close to 40%, right? And a lot of the drop came after, if I'm not wrong, 29th of September 2008. So there were a lot of fears, but even then, that has passed. Six months later, after March of 2009, the markets recovered. So when I was reading the podcast, it was very interesting because I was writing about the fears then in the market. And as I was reading it, I realized that it's the same thing. We are going through the same thing again. So if you are panicking right now, let me just say that this will pass because inflation cannot keep going up. Interest rate cannot keep going up. It's a business cycle, well, we'll come back to normalcy.